Okay, so I made this little purse thing. Um, it was out of an old backpack, uh, like what school kids use. I, I, I didn't really have to make too many... Well, for what I've put together so far, I don't have to make any cuts. I pretty much just destroyed it at the seams. And the reason I destroyed it is the zippers were broken anyway. Somebody just kind of threw it in some bushes and then let it sit there. Both the zippers were broken on it, so it was, it was pretty worthless. So that's when I just took it apart. Um, and for for my my other bag, I, I used like the shoulder strap um, for, for two bags at least. <clears throat> Each shoulder strap, as you can see here, this cushion thing sewn on to the strap was uh, just kind of sewn there and it, it provides a little bit of extra cushion um, for my for my side bag and then yeah this the rest of this this fabric I just I was trying to think you know what I could do with it and I figured what the heck I'll, I'll make a little like little purse satchel thing um, I had a long piece here that I sewed it inside out and then just had to snake it through uh, it's, to make it outside in and then just kind of sewed this this flap on separately sewed this this uh, shoulder strap thing on I used a little pattern of, of a square pattern to try to make it look in a way that I like the appearance to be I, I sewed this uh, see all I did is folded this in half pretty much and then I, I sewed this on the bottom it's a separate piece that I just kind of just sewed on, and it had a it had a normal curve. I think it might have been the part of the bottom of the the regular backpack. <clears throat> I, I kind of I like it, but I just uh, there's things that I'd like to do to improve on it, um, like just being able to keep this flap closed. I might try Velcro, um, and a big part of the reason I, I made it was because I wanted something for this this touchpad that I never use. I want to protect it better. I don't have anything. And as you can see, I, I sewed all these straps on, which really make it, or well, did make it fun to play with, but I, I use the iPad a lot more, and that has straps on it too. Um, yeah, I have something to, to hide it in. It fits great. As you can see, I just need to be able to keep the flap closed, and I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, I mentioned either Velcro or maybe plastic snaps or maybe uh, some kind of a loop system. Maybe I can um, see. So I still have some extra fabric here. I can make like a tongue, and then like a little thing that the tongue would go through. Um, I can make this completely out of every something I've out of stuff I've found because I found this backpack I have my own thread so I, I used my own thread um, and then I used I did it all with speedy stitcher it's in using the speedy stitcher it's it's practically like drawing you know you see those 3d printer pens that are I don't know if they're becoming popular that are out there well this is a, a, a sewing pen pretty much you could call it but it's also known as a, it's mainly known as a speedy stitcher. I want to put an inside lining inside here. I like doing that for bags. Like this one, I've had this lining for a long time. But it's nice to be able to uh, pull it inside out. And yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. But it, it just, it seems like it helps with cleaning it out inside better. And I have this, this shirt that I found on the beach. Um, I cut off the tags. I was thinking maybe I might want to put a put a tag on this this little black bag too. Maybe on the flap, uh, make it look professional. But yeah, somebody just left this on the beach, and I think I could I could uh, get a big a nice big enough square from this this amount of fabric to uh, create an inside lining for my bag. Um, it's it's not a it's not a cotton blend at all here. It's I believe it's just like all polyester or something with this with this shirt. Um, 
Well, it doesn't really say there. Made in China. National Patrol. Yeah. But it's a good, fa it'll be a good fabric that could be used as an inside liner for this bag. So that's something I want to work on too. Just taking small steps, just a tiny project. Yeah, I, I kind of like this lower pocket. What I want also is to create a pocket for this thing too. I need, I might need to put it on either the side or the, the front. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have enough fabric to, to make something square that I could toss on for for this cord thing. But yeah, I want to keep the cord together, of course. So I only have this bag designed for the the touchpad. So yeah, it's something to work on.